Uh, welcome again to the Gab Fest. Uh, I'm Michael. I'm Allison. And um, what we're going to talk about today is something um, I find kind of interesting and irritating and, and all that thing. Um, there's, a, um, uh, there's a post going around, a picture and a post going around, uh, with a um, little girl who appears to have draw drawn the chalk outline of her mother, of her dead mother, who's been killed uh, in the war over, I guess, in Afghanistan. And um, she's kind of curled up inside this chalk, chalk outline, chalk outline of, of, of her mother. And um, it's, a very, uh, it's a very powerful photograph. Yes. And um, evidently it's fake. So the question for today is, does it matter? Um, are our um, emotional heartstrings being pulled, yes. manipulated? Sure they are. Okay. Yeah. Is that... Horrible? Is that horrible or is that... Life? Life? Certainly, it's certainly a valid question, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> certainly a good one. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where I think with the advent of the internet and just the fact that anybody can really... Um, gain access to any amount of information, including photographs, uh, including written material, whatever, the ability for people to claim things as their own or modify them or whatever, really, it's it's so difficult to kind of put any sort of uh, control on that. I mean, I kind of thought to myself when you brought this up the other day, mm -hmm. um, after seeing that photo, it's one of those things to pose as a possibility should these things be labeled in some capacity? Just like, mm -hmm. you know, how some of our food now has that non-GMO stamp on it right. to tell us that, in fact, there is no fake organisms in my food. Fakeness, uh, which I appreciate. Um, perhaps that needs to be done with, with anything that's been modified online or in print or on a billboard. Maybe there's a little stamp that indicates that this, in fact, is not as it seems 100%. Whether that will ever take shape. Well, it, it isn't, it isn't our emotional health as, as valuable as our, um, as our dietary health? If you're doing a campaign about, let's say, hunger in America. Right. And we know that... Um, Oi. Uh, yeah. Um, and we know that there are children that go to bed hungry. Right. And rather than taking a photograph of a real child that's in need. Which would be so silly to me, but yes, because they're like, you can find them. You can find them. Um, the person doing the campaign fakes it. They, they get their own child or child of a friend of theirs or, they should or not something get their like own that. Child. And <laughs> that, that is like horrible. Okay, and they dress this child model, we'll say, in uh, in rags and put dirt on their face and sit them in a let's say a dirt lot and take a photograph and use that as a driver for like a nonprofit donation. As, or something. A, as a driver for a nonprofit uh, uh, donation, um, is is that okay? Is that simply advertising? I think that should have the stamp on it as well. Have the stamp on it. I, I like the idea of the stamp. Uh, tell us what, what you think. Would you like to see, um, say you're going through your, uh, your Facebook feed, would you like to see a stamp somewhere, I think you mentioned in the corner? Well, somewhere. like somewhere on the image. So somewhere that it's kind of like image. in the same place on every sort of thing that's been modified in some capacity. So that you know where to look. It's like, there it is. Oh, that has a stamp on it. Or on a billboard. If a billboard is being used in some way, like, and there's something a part of that that's not 100% accurate. I just think that, you know, we're living in an age where people's... It's so interesting. Because as much as creativity is being stifled on so many levels, it's also... Uh, I mean, can we say that it's... People are being very creative in all the ways that they're but, modifying but they're being things. Very creative, but what happens to me is if if I check a few of these, or right. if it's obvious to me as a photographer that it's been fake, I I start to my eyes start to sort of glass over because everything that I'm seeing on it's my fake. feet, I start to go is fake. Maybe it isn't all fake, but 
that's how my reaction becomes because I don't want to be pulled back and forth constantly by a bunch of fake stuff. And I start reality. thinking, I, I start going through my feet going fake, 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 you know, probably fake. And does this become to the fact that it's going to start to turn off our emotions? Well, I think it probably already has on some level. I mean... I mean, just as human beings, you know, we're, we're communicating now via phones and via instant messaging and be, via mm -hmm. Facebook instead of meeting in person and, and socializing in real human connection kind of ways. So, uh, tell us, uh, do you mind? Do you not care? Would you like to see a label on it? Um, are you starting to become desensitized, de desensitized to, uh, to the images, especially ones of, uh, you know, poverty and war and, uh, the things that, uh, usually make us very emotional. Let us know. We're here at the Gap Fest. We'd like to hear from you and what you think about this. Definitely. Let us know. It was a heavy one. I was trying to not be so heavy about it, but it's, it's a heavy one. It, yeah. It, it's a it heavy one. Be. It can be. All right, then. All right. Mm -hmm. Goodbye for now. Ciao.